for everyone called Hughes of the Violet Garden. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> as we mentioned at the start of the program, there will be a festival taking place in Inazuma. The theme of this event goes hand in hand with the festival being organized by the Yashiro Commission and Yaimiko. With a festival focusing on culture and creativity, travelers will not only have the opportunity to meet guests hailing from other nations, but also finally see some familiar faces again. Oh, okay. I'm pretty interested to see what Yoimi and Klee are up to. That seems like a pretty interesting combo. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just excited <laughs> to go around and see everybody. Yeah. What is Ito doing? No. <laughs> what is he ever doing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, throughout the event, we will be experiencing some interesting stories alongside those characters at the festival. And there may even be some unexpected characters making an appearance. Nice! So, travelers will have to wait and see who shows up this time. As we progress through the storyline, we'll have the opportunity to enjoy a variety of Iridori festival games. There are a total of four different kinds of event gameplay, so let's take a closer look! First, we have the Moon and Stars Inscribe. Travelers will meet a bard from Mondstadt in search of inspiration among Inazuma's unique landscapes. During the event, travelers can gain a poetic theme and take pictures based on the hints to submit to the commissioner. The more pictures we supply, the easier it will be for them to compose more lines of poetry. Travelers can then choose the lines they prefer and help complete the composition. All right, sounds easy enough. I'm sure our travelers can handle this one. <laughs> oh, for sure. Experienced travelers who are familiar with the map and terrain will definitely be able to quickly find the best spots for photos. Our next event gameplay will be a familiar one for our audience. It's Theater Mechanicus. I'm sure many of you have already played this game, and this time around there will be some new twists to the game. Komakata is promoting the latest version of Theater Mechanicus, and in such a large international cultural event, there's been some innovations made to attract the attention of the organizers and visitors. Sweet. In the all-new Theater Mechanicus stage of brilliance, each stage will have its own special stage features. Travelers will need to work these features into their strategy to swiftly clear each challenge. What's also different this time around is that travelers will need to equip wondrous sticks before entering each stage. This will be a real test for our ability to make combinations. The game mode has also been streamlined to reduce the amount of time required to play. Upon entering a stage, travelers will find some mechanicae that have already been placed. You may choose to modify or dismantle them, or build more mechanicae around them to create optimum combinations that will swiftly handle enemies coming your way. Cool. Our third event mode is called Clash of Lone Blades which is an all-new challenge centered around sword fighting. Ooh. After unlocking this game mode, a new duel against a sword master with unique abilities will unlock each day. During the challenge, players will control the traveler and will be unable to use their elemental skill and elemental burst, but instead can use an all-new parry mechanic. Performing a parry will allow you to take a defensive stance and reduce incoming damage. Travelers may focus and master the timing to perform a perfect parry, which will give you the upper hand in the challenge. Cool. <laughs> Sounds pretty challenging. <laughs> <laughs> it's also worth mentioning that our final and strongest opponent for this challenge happens to be someone who had no choice but to join the competition due to difficult financial circumstances. It turns out they are just an average store owner with their hearts set on winning that prize money. Who would have guessed you'd find such tough opponents from just in town? <laughs> Travelers should get ready to take on opponents in one-on-one -on -one duels. Uh -huh. And, last but not least, we have an Ikebana event called the Floral Courtyard. In this event, Travelers will need to follow a florist's themes to create a specific floral courtyard. A courtyard is comprised of different parts, with each part having different materials to choose from. After completing a theme, travelers may actually use the courtyard they receive and place it in the Serena teapot. Ikebana is an art form, so when travelers are creating a floral courtyard, they need to incorporate their own interpretation of beauty. So what you're saying is, if your courtyard is looking ugly, then you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I see you. Oh, uh, speaking of Ikebana, Ayaka is the sponsor behind the Ikebana event. You know, Ay Ayaka's very skilled at Ikebana. Of course he is. <laughs> you know, she invests in the promotion of this event every year, and that it's one of her greatest joys. Yep, that sounds like Ayaka. <laughs> <laughs>
And that's about all we can share about this event for now. After participating in all four of these special event game modes and reaching certain criteria, travelers will be able to invite Xingqiu to join their team for free. So don't forget to try out all the events. Yeah, maybe you'll find a new favorite. Yeah, give them a shot. <laughs> Everyone should be sure to have a good look around the festival. The streets of Rito will be specially decorated throughout the Iridori Festival, so everyone can enjoy the lively and exciting atmosphere. Mm-hmm. That's right. This is one festival you won't want to miss. Oh, no. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Version 2.6 will also be featuring an event for travelers who enjoy spending time in the kitchen. The event is called Spices from the West. In this event, a person from Sumeru is visiting to do research on seasonings. She hopes to find someone who can help her conduct her research by making seasonings according to recipes and taste test dishes using these seasonings. You know, mm. if there's food involved, I'm sure Paimon won't be far off. <laughs> it's me, Paimon, and I'm hungry! <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> New seasoning recipes will gradually unlock over the course of the event, and all the recipes will be available before the event ends. When you begin making the seasonings, the needle on the slider will move back and forth from edge to edge. Mm -hmm. Follow the instructions given on the recipe and press the button as the needle points to the corresponding ingredient to add them to the pot. Oh. And just as a reminder to everyone, there is a limit to the amount of mistakes you can make while creating a seasoning, so be sure to make the best of each chance with as little mistakes as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to start over again. Add the correct number of ingredients before you use up all your attempts, and you will succeed. Oh. So, Zach, yeah. what you're saying is, for this event, the pressure cooker is on. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I had oh. to, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was good, but it also hurt. <laughs> that was, you know, that was quite fire, as they say. Oh, oh my, oh, please, no. help me. <laughs> <sighs> but okay. seriously, like, Oh, gosh, this looks like we'll need little hand-eye coordination for this one. Oh, yeah. Totally. The heat is on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did I start? <laughs> okay, guys. So, by adding seasonings you created to delicious dishes, you can obtain fragrant dishes. Travelers may invite characters to taste test the fragrant dishes in their Serena teapot to increase their companionship XP. Just keep in mind that the character's personal preferences also vary. Oh, okay. That's right. It'll be the perfect opportunity to test how well travelers really know their characters. Yeah. Mm. Do a little studying. Totally. <laughs> in version 2.6, we will be receiving a new challenge event called Vibro Crystal Research. We find a researcher from Fontaine on the outskirts of the chasm studying the harmonic motion transmitted between gems known as vibrocrystals. If we connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects, then we can defeat the enemies and obtain great rewards. In case that's a little confusing, why don't you explain what the transmitter and receiver crystals are first and what kind of effects the reactions can make? Oh, right. Sure thing. So. After the player configures their own Vibro Crystal setup, they will obtain different combat buffs. Okay. Transmitter crystals govern the triggers for the buff effects, mm -hmm. and receiver crystals will trigger the buffs once the conditions are met. Oh. This all sounds very scientific. Uh, did, did you pull that out of your sleeve again? He still has boba? <laughs> I always have boba. What? Why aren't you sharing? <laughs> because this is my boba. You can still share. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, please, with your sister. Please. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to it. Okay. So each challenge is split into two battles, which will require travelers to compose two teams for the challenge, as well as different Vibro Crystal setups. Of course, the game will also provide some trial characters to help everyone complete the challenge. Mm -hmm. Defeating enemies will award points, and travelers will be given an insignia based on their score. It's gonna be awesome, so be sure to give it a shot. Yeah, sounds great. Interesting. Mm-hmm. In the new version, travelers will be receiving a commission from an Inazuman artist. She'll ask us to use the camera to take pictures of scenery in different nations as inspiration for her illustrations. Seems like the traveler has literally gained the trust of people everywhere. <laughs> 
that just means they're gonna be busy for a very, very long time. <laughs> oh, hey, right. In the photo notes, we'll be able to see comments from the artist and understand her requirements to complete the photo. Oh, capturing landscapes for inspiration. Sounds pretty elegant. And you would know about being elegant. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> this event will definitely be on the more relaxing side of things. What could be better than exploring and earning Primo Gems? Oh yeah, and travelers will definitely find a ton of great photo spots to remember in the process. And mm. finally, in addition to all the events we've already mentioned, Leyline Overflow will be returning once again for version 2.6. Nice. Travelers can watch for future announcements for more details. You definitely don't want to miss the chance to get some more Mora and character EXP materials. Oh yeah. Yes. All right. I think that just about does it for all the events.